selected audience of very nice women only, it's the nicest of them all, Dame Edna Everidge. Hi, I said to my talented son, Kenny, who designs all my frocks, I said, I'm getting a little bit chubby, Kenny. I said, make me something so they won't look at my chops, they'll look at my ribs. <laughs> so he took some lovely x-rays and came up with this fully boned bustier. <laughs> but my heart is still in the right place, it is, darlings. <laughs> Isn't that spooky? <laughs> Mr. Bedgegood, uh, thank you, darling. Stand by, will you, with your wet vax? <laughs> Just in case the whole audience get a little bit overexcited when they see what wonderful prizes can be won on Neighbourhood Watch. First prize, the holiday of a lifetime aboard the Sea Line 270. <laughs> Moisturising, so help yourself to a lifetime supply of juicy Nivea creams. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> or how about a romantic four-star candlelit dinner for two in a top revolving restaurant all alone with a fascinating mystery companion. <laughs> or just settle for 20 sessions with Dame Edna's personal trainer, Raunchy Roberto. <laughs> and he's forever holding himself in readiness. Well, it's, it's time to choose my contestants with my magic, sensitised, active little pink participant picker. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it's moving excitedly. It's mine, mine. You! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. What's your name? Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Stand up, Debbie. You're gorgeous, and I've chosen you, or my gladdy has. <laughs> oh, it seems to be moving. It should be moving over here. No, it's not. <laughs> you! Hello, what's your name? Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Stand up, Sylvia. What does your name mean? Do you know? No. I once looked that name up in a funny old book. It means a forest or a wood or trees or timber. <laughs> mm. Or as thick as two planks. <laughs> Not always. Oh. <laughs> Seems to be running out of steam. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Marlene. Hello, Marlene. <laughs> My glad he wasn't sure about you. Stand up, will you, Marlene? You're picked. Give me your hand. Quick sticks. Come on, this way. Come on, girl. Lovely. Here we are. Oh, this is it. Good. Take these ladies. Take these ladies to the surgery. Bleach their legs and wax their moustaches. <laughs> Here we are. Bye. Well, you think this show is about homes, don't you, possums? But you're wrong. This show is about one home, which is Sylvia's. Look at little Sylvia with a check top thing. But Sylvia doesn't know this. <laughs> Where is Sylvia's home? <laughs> I've got a live TV camera ready to go in. Trevor! Oh, hello, Trevor. <laughs> Sylvia is go. <laughs> In two minutes, we're going to go rushing up the front path. Millions worldwide will be tearing her home apart. <laughs> we'll be deconstructing it. We'll, we'll be sticking our noses everywhere, but nicely, privately. <laughs> Very unobtrusively. Shh, they're coming back. My contestants. <laughs> oh. Marlene. 
Sit down, darling. There we are. There's your little buzzers. Oh. Are you quick to the questions, girls? Hands on your buzzers. On your own buzzer, girls, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not on other ladies' buzzers. You can do that sort of thing in your own time. <laughs> We're going to play who lives here, who or what lives here. <laughs> who lives here? <laughs> there we are. A B. A B. A B. Well. <laughs> yes. A B and its friends, Debbie. <laughs> Who lives here? Oh. Yes, Sylvia. The royal family. The royal family. Well. <laughs> it's the Tower of London, actually. <laughs> The revolution hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite, I'm afraid. Who would you say? Beefeaters. Beefeaters? Very, very good, I'd say. I'd accept Beefeaters, Ravens, Rudolf Hess, <laughs> Sir Oswald, Mosley, the prisoner of Zender, the man in the Iron Mask, the hunchback of Notre Dame, the phantom of the opera, Mary Queen of Scots, Mary Hopkin, or Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this one is quite easy. Think you'll find Sylvia? <laughs> Who lives here? <laughs> Me! Special seat is not mastermind, it's oh. mistress mind. <laughs> Bless your little heart, you clever puss. Well, all we have to do now is answer a very simple question, my darling. Who is in that home at the moment? My husband. Well, <laughs> you'll be delighted to know, my darling Sylv, that I have a live TV camera outside that lovely little dwelling of yours. Of, I mean, <laughs> Have, my dear Sylve, it's ready to go in. Say hello to Sylvia, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> that's my cameraman, and that's your home right now, Sylvia. In we go. Oh, look, it's, it's a sort of detached Swiss chalet type of a home. <laughs> it's very Swiss and a double garage, you lucky woman. Look at that lovely porch, too. Is that the Georgian original part of the home, is it? <laughs> It's, oh, no letterbox, though, Sylvia. Where's that? It's at the side. At the side? Trevor, oh, good heavens. <laughs> oh, of course, people were much shorter then, weren't they? <laughs> I shouldn't say shorter. No, I, I'd say vertically challenged, weren't they? <laughs> Fancy having a letterbox there. Well, let's knock on the door and meet Sylvia's husband, shall we? Lovely. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exciting? Is he a nice type of a man? Oh, yeah. Good heavens. <laughs> Madge, have you been walking round the suburbs dressed up like that, you brazen hussy? <laughs> you look like a used Christmas cracker, man. <laughs> in you go. We want to have a look in the hallway. Or a little vestibule inside your porch. It's lovely in there. Look at the timber. <laughs> like a sauna in there, Sylvia, isn't it? And those beautiful Swiss ornaments on the wall, too. They give it a baronial look, don't they? Your home looks like a downmarket steakhouse, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean that very nicely. Oh, look, there's another letterbox there. <laughs> What's the postman expected to do? <laughs> Pushing it through one and he's got to get it through the next one. <laughs> You're certainly getting your money. <laughs> well, perhaps that's for the second post of it, Sylvia. <laughs> anyway, I think we should go inside. In we go, Trevor. Oh, lovely. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, let's go through into that other room, please, Madge. Oh, look at her. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, Trevor, what do we put the carpet on the table for you? <laughs> 
He shouldn't be arranging your furniture, should he, Sylvia? That should be on the floor, shouldn't it? <laughs> shouldn't it, Sylvia? No. Oh, it's on the dining room table. Oh, is it? Yes, I suppose it's an old Swiss custom, is it? <laughs> you eat your food off the carpet and you dance on the table. <laughs> What's through here? What room's this, sir? Oh, this is the lounge. It's the lounge. It's lovely. Look what you've done. Mix and match, I see. <laughs> Who would have thought of putting that wallpaper with that curtain material on that carpet? <laughs> you courageous woman! <laughs> and look, you've got the plates all the way up there on the wall. Goodness, it must be hard eating off that. <laughs> You'd have to have very sticky food, wouldn't you? <laughs> and at least it's out of the way of Greek waiters. <laughs> you know any Greek waiters? No. No, you don't. Where do you have your holidays? Cyprus. Cyprus? Well, you'd bump into the odd Cypriot waiter, wouldn't you? Do they oh, smash yes. plates as well? Sometimes, when they're doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if your husband, after a few little oozos with Repsina chases, says to the waiters, drop by my home and smash a few plates any time you're in England. <laughs> <laughs> What's over there on that little ashtray there, Sylph? What have you got there, darling? Oh, what are they? <laughs> Nail clippers. <laughs> They're funny things to have beside the television, aren't they? <laughs> you clip your nails while you're watching the telly, do you, darling? <laughs> Why are they there? Why do you have so many? Because my husband can never find them, so I leave them in the dish so I know exactly where they are for him. Oh, <laughs> you thoughtful and lovely woman! <laughs> You're giving everyone such lovely ideas for their... <laughs> With all these things in your home, you've got so many knick-knacks. Have you ever thought of opening a shop and <laughs> selling them? Have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> How wise you are, Sylvia. <laughs> You're wise to have chosen to keep them in your own home and don't attempt to palm them off on the public option. <laughs> What's through here? The oh, the kitchen. This is beautiful, too. Mm. It's a bit of a period piece, isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. Have you, don't, don't ever cook in it. I don't think I would just keep this for tourists if I was... <laughs> <laughs> Let's look in the cupboard, please, Madge. <laughs> What's in the cupboard? What's up there? What is in those jars? Taylor's mustard. Oh, mustard! You've got a lot of it, so thank you. Mustard. You like things a little bit spicy, I suspect. <laughs> well, yeah, you do like those Hindus. They need curries hotter and hotter and hotter. As they get older, their wives make them hotter until finally they burst into flames and their widows throw themselves on top of them. They do. <laughs> What's in the cupboard down below? In there, oh, add saucepans. Saucepans and frying pan. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Horrible. What's that for, Sylvia? <laughs> butter in that. It's do butter. The mushrooms in. What do you do in that? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. I think mushrooms will be growing <laughs> in there. <laughs> So you've been sitting there like a couple of lazy bones. <laughs> so I hope you kept your eyes peeled as well because we're going to ask you a few questions. What sort of door is there between Sylvia's porch and her hall? A flush door, a panel door, a glass door, or a cat flap? Glass door. A glass door? Yes. Correct. Yes, correct, <laughs> my darling Debbie. Point to you. <laughs> Does Sylvia collect Victoriana, Edwardiana, Elizabethiana, or Charles and Diana Anna? <laughs> Victoriana. Victoriana. Victoriana? Yes. Oh, you're right! <laughs> it's a treasure trove of Victoriana, Marlene. Isn't this getting a swell? Interesting. Now, <laughs> does Sylvia disguise the taste of her food with French or English mustard? English mustard. English mustard? <laughs> Taylor's mustard. Taylor's mustard. Oh. <laughs> A blatant commercial, but nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's mustard, neither French nor English. But I'm going to give you a point all the same, Marlene. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wake up, for heaven's sake, sir. <laughs> Guess the total number of plates waiting to be smashed by Cypriot waiters on Sylvia's walls. 
Five. 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 Fifty-eight. <laughs> you haven't been counting lately, Sean. <laughs> two to you, Marlene. You'd have to do better than that. You're hopeless, girls. You need 240 points to win the Nivea. <laughs> and do you ladies need it? Now, don't look, don't look superior, Sylvia, because after this break, you better say your prayers. We're going up here, estate agent extraordinaire. Welcome <laughs> back to Sylvia's Des Res, two beds, and Sep Double Gudge. <laughs> I hope you've been saying your prayers, Sil, because now we're going up, up your stairs! Oh. Oh, look at Madge. <laughs> oh. Madge, quick, what's that man there? See that photo. Who's that? Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth, is it? Which one is Bruce? <laughs> in the middle. The one in the middle, is it? Where was that taken, darling? At Caesar's Palace. Oh, in, in Las Vegas? No, in Luton. Oh, sorry. <laughs> in Luton. <laughs> of course, why not? I don't think that is Bruce Forsyth, I'm afraid, Sylvia. There is a man in that area, a tragic, troubled man, <laughs> who thinks he is Bruce Forsyth <laughs> and gets himself photographed with deluded housewives. I'm sorry about that. His hair's all fallen out now and he thinks he's Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go into the bedroom, please, Madge. Quick sticks. Oh, this is lovely. Two. Is it reproduction furniture? <laughs> well, I suppose yeah. a bed is reproduction furniture. <laughs> per se. You girls have got something in common, by the way, Marlene and Debbie, haven't you, darlings? Marlene, you've got a Paddington Bear pillow, haven't you, at home? <laughs> <laughs> Your house, Debbie, decorated in the Paddington Bear style. I know. I've prowled around your homes as well. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> well, let's have a look in the bedside drawer, Madge. That's where I like to do it. What's in there? Not a lot. Rubbish. Oh. Belts. What are they? Belts. Belts. <laughs> Sylvia, what are they in there for? <laughs> Why have you got those belts in there, sir? <laughs> I don't wear them a lot, and I just put them in there in case I do need them. Oh, yes. Uh, well, for example, there could be an emergency. Yeah, the, that's right. The elastic on your hubby's gym jams could go <laughs> suddenly, couldn't it, in the middle of the night? Or he could need restraining, couldn't he? <laughs> he could. He could have a fit. I mean, that's why those loops are there on the side of the mattress. Did you know that? <laughs> it's a little known fact. Now, oh, what's that? What's that thing? What's that object? Oh, trouser press. Oh, is it? Do you plug it into the wall? Yes. Where's the plug? There isn't one on it. Oh, there's not one on it. What, he just stands against it and presses his down? <laughs> is that what he does? <laughs> well, it probably would press them in the end. Let's have a look in those drawers there, Madge, please. What's in there? Oh, what's that thing? Sundress. A sundress? I think it's a modesty tent. <laughs> I think it is. It's what you change in on the beach, isn't it? That's you don't, right. You don't need that in the bedroom. Don't you... Mm, do you undress in a concealed fashion from your husband? <laughs> like my husband never saw me naked either, I'm afraid. <laughs> Nor did he express the least desire to. <laughs> what's in the other drawer over there, please, Madge? What's that? Oh, what's that magazine? Yeah, Truck hot. and driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice bedside reading, isn't it? <laughs> Did one of your guests leave that there by any chance? <laughs> What's in the drawer there, Madge, please? Oh, tights. You've got a lot of tights, haven't you? Yes. Where do you get those from? 
buy them in bulk. Yeah. <laughs> you get through them, though. Look at those. I know. <laughs> of some kind. I hear music and there's no one there, as the old song goes. Go for a prowl, will you, Madge? It seems to be... Can you hear something, girls? Go through there. Yes, it's in the bathroom. Someone's singing. Investigate, will you please, Madge? It's behind the shower curtain. Have a look. <laughs> Roberto, dry yourself and get dressed. Oh. You're one of the prizes. <laughs> one of these women is very lucky. She might even win you later, so hurry over. I'll powder you later. <laughs> <laughs> talking, of, uh, talking of prizes, girls, a final round of questions. Are you ready? Are you ready, girls? Buzzer's ready. What was Roberto wearing in Sylvia's shower? Uh, yes. Birthday suit. A birthday suit? No, galoshes. <laughs> <laughs> Does Roberto have an all-over tan? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes? Well, not since I gave him his Rolex. <laughs> There's a little white stripe round his wrist. <laughs> well, I'll give you that point, Debbie. And you, Marlene, you're both pretty hopeless. What did Roberto... <laughs> what? Under the shower, what did Roberto have in his hand? His loafer. A loofah. Yeah. A loofah. Correct, Marlene. <laughs> How much am I bid for the loofah? <laughs> <laughs> Final question. Which of these virile men, watch the screen, which of these virile, athletic, low-down, scheming men led us into Sylvia's house? Which is Ian, her husband? <laughs> yes? Number two. Number two? <laughs> what about you, Marlene? Number three. <laughs> yes. Number three is Ian. Yes. Well, let's meet that wicked possum. Come on, Ian. Hello, <laughs> 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 oh, Ian. <laughs> this way. Oh, Ian. Come on. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you forgive him? Yes. You didn't know anything was going no, on. Weren't we clever, Ian? No. Thanks to you, you <laughs> schemer. <laughs> well, you're a lovely couple. And do you know where I can see you? I'm a bit psychic. I can see you having a lovely weekend in Paris at my expense in a lovely hotel with spending money. Oh. Enjoy yourselves! Enjoy yourselves! Enjoy yourselves.